All right, guys, so I absolutely hate that I'm having to make this video. This video honestly stinks, and um, it, it's pretty sad and crazy and wild, but, you know, it, it's my job. A lot of you guys are looking to me for information on this, and I have information, and so I'm going to tell it to you guys. So basically, in this video, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about the upcoming Roblox and YouTube changes that they announced a few days ago. If you guys don't know what I'm I'm talking about two days ago i made a video on the channel it's still up if you want to go watch it and it's basically a video talking about all the new changes that youtube is uh doing that will affect roblox youtubers and videos i'll have a link to that video down in the description if you want to go watch it and if not i'll try and give a quick recap real quick uh right now in this video and then we'll talk about everything i know and what's going to be happening to all your favorite roblox youtubers so basically a few months ago you guys might have heard about this the whole spider-man and elsa thing Thing. If not, that's fine. But basically, there was a bunch of videos on YouTube that a bunch of kids were watching that were labeled as kid videos, but they were very inappropriate and not for kids. Well, a bunch of parents found out about this. They got really mad and somehow the government got involved and the FTC got involved, which stands for the Federal Trade Commission. And basically, their job is to ensure that kids are safe online and inside of media. So the FTC found out that YouTube was essentially breaking the law here. And I'll get into that in a minute minute but they made YouTube pay a fine of like 175 million dollars because technically you know kids watching these videos was illegal and the law they broke is called the COPA Act it's the COPA law C-O-P-P-A and it stands for the Child Online Protection and Privacy Act and basically what the law says is that you can't collect information on anyone under the age of 13 online it is illegal to do so now I'm not going to get into the specifics of the law if you want to like read up on everything about COPA you can certainly google it and you know this isn't law class here i'm not a lawyer but the copa is why a lot of your favorite websites like twitter if you go to make a twitter account it says you have to be 13 or older to make a twitter account same with discord same with youtube same with a lot of websites you have to be 13 years of age or older now if you allow a 13 year old to access your website you have to be copa compliant roblox for example is a website like this you can make a roblox account under the age of 13 but there's a lot of restrictions put on your account like for example you can't be added to vip servers you can't chat like numbers you can't be in certain groups there's a lot of restrictions put on accounts under the age of 13 to help protect and you know not track children's privacy online their data and well turns out youtube was doing that and now the ftc is making youtube make some changes and this is what's going on so basically if your audience or if youtube finds your audience to be under the age of 13 or you make videos specifically for children under the age of 13 then you are going to be affected by these changes and these changes are essentially that your videos will no longer have notifications your videos will no longer get promoted your videos will no longer have uh, the majority of ads in front of them so basically you won't get any more ads on your videos and for the gist of it basically YouTube will be banning your videos now they're not actually going to be getting banned like you can't upload them they're just not going to get promoted and you're not really going to get paid for them so for all you know intensive purposes they're basically banned and if this happened this would mean that a lot of roles Roblox YouTubers, just YouTubers in general, might lose, you know, their their job, their channel. Here, we might have to start working at McDonald's and a bunch of really bad stuff. A lot of Roblox YouTubers, including me, were freaking out over this. Like, you know, this is a big thing. Like, are we going to be affected? Do we need to start applying for jobs? Do I need to go to school? Do I need to go to college? Like, what's going on? Well, I, I went and I talked to YouTube today, and I finally have all the answers we've been looking for, and I'm going to go over everything in this video. So, here we go. So, like I said, I talked talk to YouTube today and basically here's how these new laws and these new policies on YouTube is going to work especially when it comes to Roblox so I as in my channel my channel should be fine I should not be affected by these changes because as a as a live streamer here and as someone who does I guess jailbreak in Mad City they're a little bit more mature games and you know since I live stream I have a little bit more of a more mature older audience and because my audience is a little bit older than the average Roblox audience especially when it comes to other roblox youtubers i won't be affected by these changes so i'm good and hopefully any other youtuber that's worried about it can use me as a bar to judge whether or not they are good themselves what i'm trying to say is i can't tell any other youtuber that they're good or not good because obviously it differs 
per each YouTuber. Like, for example, even though Username and I do the same videos, his audience is a little bit younger than mine. Is that a problem? I don't know. Is it too young? I don't know. All I know is that I'm good to go. So, uh, you know, maybe other people can use me to like judge whether or not they're good or not. So real quick, I'm just going to go through this list of things I made that YouTube told me and uh, then we'll talk about it. So basically, YouTube is not blanketing any video games as for kids. So basically, Roblox is not going to be marked as a game for kids automatically. Different Roblox games have different ages in their audiences and will be judged accordingly. We'll talk about that here in a second. If your audience is young, you might be affected if your audience is older you'll probably be fine you will be able to dispute any videos marked as for kids if you want to there are no phrases or keywords that mark your videos as for kids it marks your videos as for kids or not depending on what you tell it and depending on what other channels your audience watches anyone that is a minor cannot live stream and if enough videos on your channel get marked as for kids you can turn on a setting that makes your entire channel for kids so basically how YouTube is going to be deciding if your channel is for for kids or not or if your video is for kids or not is depending on what other videos and content your audience watches so if someone's you know audience watches a lot of spider-man toy unboxing or princess you know dress up role plays they're probably going to be a kid and youtube's going to see that and be like okay these these guys are kids watching you on the other hand if someone's watching like 100 hours of pewdiepie a day youtube's going to see that and be like okay they're, 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 they're probably not a kid they should be fine so in terms of Roblox YouTubers, I kind of talked about it a little bit before, but essentially, depending on what game you do on Roblox on your channel, you may or may not be affected by this. So as you guys know, each Roblox game has a different audience. You know, Phantom Forces has a lot older audience than, say, Meef City. Meef City has a really young audience. You can just go into Meef City and there's, you know, a bunch of little eight-year-old Timmy's trying to find Roblox girlfriends. You can tell it's little, you know, it's little kid. No, this is true for other games too. Royal High has a little bit of of a younger audience. Adopt Me has a really young audience. Mad City, a little bit of an older audience. I would also imagine that Jailbreak probably also has a little bit of an older audience as well. So for any YouTubers, you know, watching this video, I, I can't tell you whether or not your channel is safe, but what I can tell you is you can probably make a pretty good guess depending on the content you make on your channel. Now, everything I say right now is just pure speculation based on my opinions as to each game, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the most popular games here and I'm going to tell you if it is you know a little bit older or a little bit younger and if, if it falls on the younger scale you might want to be a little bit careful and start thinking about this because you may be affected so I'm just going to go through a lot of the popular games here okay adopt me younger kids for sure mad city older kids royal high younger kids dungeon quest older kids phantom forces older kids blocksburg i don't know somewhere in the middle blocksburg is really weird and i'll talk about that here in a minute jailbreak older kids arsenal older kids murder mystery 2 older kids counter blocks older kids through sid older kids meep city younger kids lumber tycoon 2 younger kids power of heck probably younger kid now simulators are a little bit weird because simulators are there's so many different simulators there's some that a lot of really young kids play like obviously pet simulator a lot of really young kids played pet simulator but there's also a lot of really old kids that play like lifting simulator and magnet simulator and power simulator so it's really hard to judge where simulators stand I, simulators are definitely a younger audience but the question is how young are they i don't know maybe a, a roblox developer of a simulator can can chime in and let us know now i want to talk about welcome to Bloxburg here because it's probably the biggest roblox game on youtube pretty much every big roblox youtuber is playing it uh poke diggers playing it hypers playing it i fanatics playing it ants playing it everybody's playing Bloxburg. Now the question is, is Bloxburg a kid's game? And well, yes and no. So the thing about Bloxburg is if you go on Bloxburg, you look around, it's a lot of role play and role play generally is little kids because obviously, you know, a 16 year old dude or 16 year old girl isn't going to go on Bloxburg and pretend to be a baby mama. It's, it's just
just not going to happen. With that being said, though, Bloxburg isn't a free game. You technically have to pay to get in. So generally, when you have to pay for a game, it means that the person playing the game is probably going to be a little bit older than normal because obviously a seven-year-old probably just doesn't have money to buy a game. Does this mean that Bloxburg is safe and there's an older audience on Bloxburg? I don't know. If it was my own personal channel, I probably wouldn't play Bloxburg anymore. And me, myself, I'm not going to play Bloxburg anymore. When it comes to my channel, I, I'm going to no longer make Bloxburg live streams, videos, uh, any, you know, role play videos or live streams. Going to be doing none of that, you know, just in case. So for the YouTubers that regularly play Bloxburg, if you do role play, role play is definitely on the younger side of Roblox. And I would would maybe start looking and thinking about how you can change up your content to make it a little bit more mature no i know this sucks this this really stinks um i like i said my channels it should be safe but i have a lot of friends who make blocksburg videos i have a lot of friends that make royal high videos inquisitor master zachary zaxor are they going to be okay like I, I i don't know all i can say is if you're another roblox youtuber and you know you make role play videos role play is definitely the youngest side of roblox Block simulators, I don't really know. Phantom Forces, definitely on the older side. Jailbreak Mad City, definitely on the older side. MM2, definitely on the older side. But with these changes, we're definitely going to be getting some major changes to Roblox. If you guys don't know, Roblox is really, really dependent on YouTube. Without YouTube, Roblox would not be as popular. And without Roblox, obviously, we wouldn't be as popular. And so what I think is going to start happening here, guys, is, you know, obviously, on YouTube in four months, nobody's going to be able to make Royal High videos because Royal High videos are for little kids and we're just not going to be able to make videos on that anymore. So I think what you're going to start seeing on Roblox is you're going to start seeing a lot of mature games pop up on Roblox like Adopt Me, ugh, you know, Royal High. Yeah, I think a lot of, you know, more mature games are going to start popping up on Roblox because those are really the only games that us YouTubers are going to be able to record. Mad City, Dungeon Quest, Phantom Forces, Jailbreak, games like that arsenal i think you're gonna really start seeing these games come back to the top because they're really the only games that we can really play but yeah that's basically all the news i have i'll have a link to the description in the description to a tweet i made that goes over a little bit more details of everything a little bit more changes specifically if you guys want to read over that but man this it's gonna be a big change as for me nothing's really gonna change i'm just gonna keep focusing on jailbreak mad city and more i guess mature roblox games we might start doing some phantom forces or something like that just to you know just get it a little bit more mature so i'm not affected maybe play like some minecraft or something i i i don't know but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you're worried about your favorite youtuber share this video out to your favorite youtuber i tried to make this as non you know like oh my god you know i want to make this as informative as possible none of that youtuber you know you star code real creek you star code real creek though uh or subscribe or anything like that this is just an informative video for you guys talking about this new update because it's a big deal so hopefully this helped you guys out um uh you know subscribe <laughs> but uh yeah uh oh man this sucks guys this this uh this stinks and um it's gonna be interesting to see how roblox youtubers adapt to this so thank you guys so much for watching and uh share this video around let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video